Good evening. I'm Dan Coppa, staff writer here at The Courier and Daily Comet. Welcome to another evening news briefing. Here are some of the stories you can find uh, online tonight at homeoftoday.com and dailycomet.com and in tomorrow's printed newspapers. Court records show a 42-year-old man serving a life sentence for a murder in 1994 is appealing his conviction. Troy Young pleaded guilty in 90, 1994 to second-degree murder for a drive-by shooting that killed Bernard Bradley in Raceland. He was originally given a life sentence without probation or parole. And although Young's sentence was amended on October 30th of last year to allow for parole, the defendant argues uh, the change did not correct what he believes is an illegal sentence. Young is currently serving a life behind bars in the Louisiana State Penitentiary in Angola. Police say a 33-year-old Golden Meadow man was arrested over the weekend after physically abusing a child. Justin Lee Smothers is charged with cruelty to juveniles. Investigators learned that the suspect had struck the child multiple times with a belt that left large bruises. Smothers was transported to the Lafouche Parish Jail where he was later released after posting a $5,000 bond. New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees will look to lead his team to a victory over the Washington Redskins tonight in New Orleans, while also becoming the all-time passing yardage leader in NFL history. Brees needs 201 passing uh, yards to overtake New Orleans native Peyton Manning on the all-time list. Take a quick look back at what happened last week in local prep football and prep volleyball action while also getting a glimpse ahead to this week's games with the weekly prep football and prep volleyball reports. For these stories and more, make sure to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit the Homer Courier and Daily Comet websites. Thank you for watching and have a good night.